This is the new flexible shoulder rig from Vokas. Hey guys, Graham here from Cinema 5D. We are at NAB 2018 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm at the Vokas booth. On my right is Lars, and Vokas has a brand new shoulder rig. Tell me a little bit about it, Lars. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we uh, have been making shoulder rigs in the past for uh, for a long time, um, and we re basically reinvented our old, uh, our old uh, diesel R shoulder rig. This is what it became. Uh, it starts with a uh, base, a uh, camera base, which is a slidable arca system. So you can easily balance basically any camera, so from DSLR up to small cinema cameras, small ENG cameras, um, can be mounted on, on here. Height adjustable bars uh, to uh, have the correct height uh, for uh, other accessories. Um, and a very flexible and compact shoulder pad, so can be adjusted in very many ways. In both, uh, oh, that's cool. Uh, both a, a central uh, position and in an uh, offset position. Let me take it out. So, if you can, so if you, uh, as you can see, uh, both the external viewfinder or the uh, back viewfinder on some cameras can be used in, a, in with just uh, one rig. So, when you say small ENG cameras like in FS5, maybe you'd want to remove the top handle could fit on here. Yeah. So the, the, the top handle is an uh, optional item, it's not uh, necessarily for some cameras, for diesel it can uh, come in very handy. Also because there's a 50mm uh, hole in the top, so you can mount external viewfinders uh, over here. Uh, but yeah, for instance, FS5 or something has the original top handle and then uh, the top handle is not uh, needed. And what's the, the price point and then what comes in the kit? Uh, so if you take out uh, the top handle, the basic uh, starting kit will be roughly 550, 600 in, uh, in dollars. So the basic kit is everything below the top handle essentially? Exactly, yeah. And uh, when are you guys shipping? I understand this, this is a prototype, but when are you guys getting it to market? Uh, hopefully around summer. Great. Um, and let's, I mean, okay, cool. What else do you think? I mean, we got hot, we got some hot, uh, cold shoes, cold shoe. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, great. What's this? So, uh, if you have a heavy setup and you want to counterweight, it can be mounted as well to the back of the, to the, back of the shoulder pad to have more balance on the back of your shoulder. And that's also included as part of the kit for around 500? No, that's not uh, included in that same price. Uh, okay. So, this will be roughly an extra 250 uh, something like that. So, if you want counterbalance, it's another 250 uh, And then price point on the handle grip? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Sorry. No, that's all right. So, okay, but I mean, the important thing is you have a bunch of accessories that will work with uh, this base uh, uh, shoulder rig. Yeah. yeah. And what are, what are we calling the shoulder rig? Uh, we call it the new flexible shoulder rig. Focus. No, we don't have a name yet. Uh, but uh, the, ba the, the main idea is that we have a new flexible shoulder rig it's, uh, for many cameras. And uh, yeah, it's an, an add on, uh, value add on to the, to the market. Okay, so no name yet. So for now, we'll call it uh, Lars Shoulder Rig from Focus. Sounds like a good name. I'll introduce it to the guys in marketing. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You. That's it from us at the Vokas booth. Stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more continuing coverage of NAB 2018. Thanks, guys.